Let's talk about clay gent. For those of you who are not familiar, clay gent is clay's uh, in-house very own um, AI robot automation tool, scraper, whatever you want to call it, that basically is able to perform basic level tasks for you, uh, visit websites, get data, analyze data, et cetera, et cetera. It's pretty cool. It's able to basically do some really basic tasks that um, you know, uh, uh, an assistant will be able to do for you, but in the past we used virtual assistants for, uh, for basic research tasks. ClayGen is able to do that for you, and um, they're doing so while looking really cool, wearing a hat and all that. So um, that's just a nice added benefit. And um, if you have never used ClayGen before, it uses GPT, let's say under the hood um, or under the hat, <laughs> um, sorry about that. And um, you're able to use your own OpenAI API key, which means you can sort of use it for free. Um, whereas some of the basic stuff that we're going to be doing in this tutorial will only cost you like a couple of pennies per request, which is, um, is cheap. I don't know if it's the cheapest way of going about this, but I know a lot of you have this use case where you don't want to set up different scrapers you don't want to spend clay credits on using their website scraper. So instead you use a clay gen and I figured I would show you this way, um, like this tutorial on how you can do it yourself using um, clay's AI web scraper. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, find or rather identify lead generation companies or agencies using clay gen. So, we have some websites here and we're going to tell ClayGen to uh, visit the website of this company and count exactly how often the word lead or leads is used. Now, that is not the best way to identify whether or not they are lead generation companies, but um, it's, you know, it's a tutorial. So uh, why I made this tutorial, this tutorial I saw people um, going about it slightly different where they say, okay, go to this website and tell me if this company is a lead generation agency or not. That's not going to work. What could potentially work is saying, okay, this is what a lead generation company is. You really clearly define that with like two or three strong paragraphs. Visit this company, uh, this is their website, and tell me, you know, based on this context, whether or not they're a lead generation agency. That could work. But um, instead... Um, you know, it, it's a lot easier to say, look for specific keywords that would be a dead giveaway that this is, you know, this or that type of company. So, um, like one example, so someone looking for companies like wineries that offer tours. So you would say, go to this website, um, look at their menu, see if they have like a tours page, look, um, at their website, all the text, see if the word tours is mentioned in there. That's how you use how you could use ClayGen for that. Again, um, there are more efficient ways of doing it, but if you want to use ClayGen just to quickly get something that is, you know, 90% accurate, 95% accurate, this is the way you do it. So visit the website. Kind of often this or that word is mentioned in your output, only provide the exact number of times the word or its variations are mentioned on the homepage. Do not provide any reasoning, do not provide any other text in your input except for the total number. If you're, you know, um, following the entire course, then you'll know that this is, you know, something that I put in pretty much every single prompt that I write. Just to make sure, um, and for those of you who are already looking here, even then it sometimes gives you bad output, but we um, have workarounds for that. Then we're using 3.5 Turgo, which is perfectly fine um, uh, of you know performing the tasks that we want to perform. GPT-4 Turbo is 20x more expensive, um, gives you better output. So if you only have like a few things that you need to do, um, so imagine you have inbound leads and you want to qualify those using ClayGen and you only get like, you know, a dozen per, per week or per month, then, you know, go with GPT-4, uh, you get better output and still, and it's still going to be cheap. Uh, you can set a max cost, uh, if you want. I never do, especially you know, with GPT, uh, 3.5 turbo. Then here, obviously you want to set some conditionals, like, you know, has to have a website, that type of thing. 
um, but in this case for the tutorial again it's not really relevant so we set that up we use our own api key and then you know technically we're using it for free we're just paying like a couple of pennies to analyze the text and all that um, and it's giving us the count now it does um like i said mess up every now and then by still providing you know additional information in the prompt in the output now instead of you know um spending hours trying to optimize your prompt telling clay gen you know you know bad clay gen don't do that instead of doing all that and spending a lot of time on that there is a far easier workaround you can use so first get your prompt to the point where it only messes up every now and then if it does mess up it's you know like a small a small thing like here even though we told it do not provide you know any um additional info i need this column right here then we simply grab a formula and we say from result output the number only so it will get rid of any type of text and just gives us the number and we just use it as a fallback sort of like you know to to score or to um you know um make sure our prompt doesn't mess up and again that as a fallback so whenever it does still have issues we're able to extract that number um and then this is what we could for example call our final count right here so then that way we get our um our final output here in the final column that we can use for you know scoring personalization etc etc um so that's that and then one other kind of fun way that you can use it is for basic scraping right except for counting basic scraping basically telling it listen uh, visit this or that website find any emails that are listed on the website you can navigate to other pages on the website so basically defining its you know scraping depth you know not limited to just the home page output just the emails you find nothing else if you find multiple emails i'll put them in a comma separated value if you can't find any emails on the website i'll put null ignore ignore any emails that contain help support or info at that's that same setup gpt5 turbo um so that's how you can use clayzen for basic scraping um so we have emails here um what i do sometimes use it for is enriching companies further with their social links so you could say visit this company website and find their facebook page or find their instagram page etc because not all databases have that so actually a pretty good use case for clay gen if you just really quickly want to grab you know additional enrichments and social urls for companies is basically say okay uh, find you know their instagram page their facebook page listed anywhere on this website and then again um just to make sure that our output is you know what we want it to be instead of relying on ai and relying on the prompt you have the formula as a fallback whereas you know if you're scraping websites i would say um grab any url from this that contains facebook.com in case of instagram that will obviously be instagram.com in, in case of emails just i would say grab any emails in this output so that even if it provides reasoning like okay emails that i found are x x and x it just gives you the emails and then that way you know that your output, your text is formatted in a consistent format that you can use for your next step.